Here it is. Here it is. We're it being looks boiled. absolutely putrid after that. Um, well, I, I can tell you that even, even as a chemist, and I've smelled a lot of stuff, this <laughs> is seriously, seriously unpleasant. Okay. Um, so we've boiled down about half a liter of urine to, to this, and you can see that it's starting to get a bit pasty. There's all sorts of white saws in there. Oh, God. Oh, God. That is bad. That is really bad. Oh. Really? But what he would have had oh. to do was to, was to transfer it into, into this retort. So we'll, we're going to pour it in through the top. I'm just going to run it down this glass rod. And the next thing, presumably, is extreme heat. And now the trial by fire, if you will. It involved great technical skill, controlling temperature, making the furnace and glass retorts. But his strong constitution and persistence produced strange results. So what had he extracted from the urine? I can show you, and, and if you look, we've actually got it stored underwater, much as Brandt probably would have stored it. But I think what we should do is actually see what happens when it burns. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you can see the plumes of white smoke. Good Lord, am I okay to touch? You can, in fact, lift it, yes. Good Lord. It's uh, beautiful and I think terrifying at the same time. It is phantasmagorical, isn't it? I mean, it really is unearthly. It's the magic of the magic. highest order.